SNES Drunk. Hey, welcome back to SNES Drunk Plays Secret of Mana, and we are in the Mushroom Kingdom of Matsigo? Mantango? Something like that? Let's get the sword back. Ah, uh, King Truffle. Truffle oil is so good on certain things. Matango, that's what it is. I don't know if anybody out there has had truffle fries. Like, french fries cooked in truffle oil, I guess. They are so good. So good. They're not as heavy as, as french fries usually are. Uh, but goddamn, they are awesome. Especially when you're drunk and it's like 2 in the morning. Oh, just the best. I did not mean to do that. Son of a bitch. Let's see if I can talk to this guy down here. Well, duh, your mushrooms. Wait a second, what about the crazy-ass mushrooms out in the wild? Those guys are equipped to fight. Mm, what's this guy going to say? Yes, I'm sure he can. Okay, let's uh, take a look and see what they have here. 10,000 gold. God damn. That's why uh, you want to take the long way a lot of times. Is uh, Hang on, my controller came in. Son of a bitch. There we go. Wolf's band. We're going to need three of those. Anyway, it's allergy. It's beginning to be allergy season for me when I uh, record, as I'm recording this. It's the end of July. And uh, hot damn. There's nothing like an entire planet. It's nothing like the Earth trying to tell you. You should die, and here's here's me trying to kill you with, with all of, all my plant life, releasing pollen and shit like that. It's always funny, when I started this channel, I started it in September of like 2013, I think, almost two years now, and uh, when I, um, when I, uh, started this channel, I was at really bad allergies, so it's it's always funny to hear my voiceovers at that time period, at the very beginning, because I'm always like this, you know, it's, it sounds super scratchy, and, uh, it sounds like, it sound like shit for the most part. It's a thing, if, if you're not familiar with seasonal allergies, even the stuff you take that helps, like Allegra, or even if you're prescribed, like I've been many times, prescribed, uh... Gua it starts with a G. It's like Guayfen or something like that. It's it's designed to um, drain your sinuses. And it makes your throat just like it's been scraped along pavement. Like it's so bad. And it makes talking a bitch. Because, you know, when you talk, it's scratchy. And when it's scratchy, it tickles. And then you want to sneeze. And it's just a mess. I just realized we've all, we're all wearing the same thing now. All three of my characters are wearing the same thing, so it looks like we're like wearing a uniform, like we're on Team Rocket or something. It's <laughs> about all I know about Pokemon. Is Team Rocket is funny. The Team Rocket makes me laugh anytime I, I come across the animated show and I see them. <clears throat> all right, let's talk to King Truffle Fries. Hey, here's what's his name. What's this all about? It's not anything bad, I hope. Well, since we got the cash, we might as well uh, upgrade the glove here to Wolverine Claws, I guess. Upgrade Xena's boomerang thing to a regular boomerang. What else we got? The axe? That's probably it. Thing. Yeah, who cares? He didn't even thank us afterward. What a dick. What's over here? Eh, whatever. You know what? I'm going to rest up at the inn because I always forget to do that and I always end up uh, taking a fairy walnut when I clearly don't have to. I don't even think I've done this on this Let's Play yet. But uh, anyway, <laughs> fist pump when you wake up. You know what? We did do this at once, at one point, at least once. So I remember the fist pump. Um... The, uh, this is probably, in fact, this this will be the last Secret of Mana Let's Play. I'm going to be winding down these Let's Plays. There's going to be one more game I'm going to do after this, um, and I think you're going to like what it is. Oh, story time.
Is he singing this? Singing along to this music? Riding a white dragon and wielding the sword. Oh. Okay. Neat. Give me this white dragon. I want to meet this guy. We'll hang out. Ah, a nobleman. This guy gets the distinction of being a nobleman. What about you? I believe. Believe, believe. Okay. Uh... Oh, up here. Okay. I think. Okay. There should be an orb up here of some kind, if I remember correctly. Hopefully it's something useful. No, it's not. The fucking javelin's orb? Come on. Oh, that's not a door. <laughs> anyway, yeah, fighting allergies is, is a bitch. Uh, kind of a bastard to, to deal with. Oh, we gotta go this way. That's why he was blocking that door. Because last night I took uh, this uh, stuff I was prescribed. I can't even remember the name of it. It's really heavy duty stuff to the point where I have to open up the capsule and dump out a little bit of the medication because if I take an entire pill stocked with that stuff it's just too much. And I sleep for like 12 hours and I don't want to do that. So, yeah, and even then, like, it's just, it's so heavy. It's like taking, like, five Dramamine, if you've ever taken Dramamine before. It's a monk motion sickness thing. Which is very, very, probably the most over the cap, the most, ple come on. There. Probably the most pleasant over the counter, like, high you can get. <laughs> it's the most ghetto thing I could possibly say, talk about right now. But uh, Dramamine is very pleasant, at least it is for me, and it helps me sleep every once in a while if I'm really stressed out, if there's a shitload of anxiety or whatever. Dramamine seems to help if, if nothing else does. Let's, uh... Come on. There we go. Let's use some of this magic. Gotta level this up anyway. Well, I, you don't have to, it would just be nice to. Usually, it's the corresponding magic you get is, is going to be necessary to use on the the next dungeon's boss. At least that's how it works. You know, you would think it would work in kind of like a Zelda logical fashion. You get the item in the dungeon, and then the dungeon item is used to kill the boss. You know, it'd be really cool to do a Let's Play of uh, Link's Awakening. Probably, in fact, that is my favorite uh, Zelda game. It is really fun, and uh, it's really—it's a goofy story, and uh, the structure of it is better than any other Zelda game, I think. And we have the whip equipped, so we don't have to screw around with switching weapons. Make the leap over here. Get Sonic the Hedgehog over here. You know, you see an enemy in a game like this that. Uh, a blue hedgehog. Is that a, is that supposed to be a hedgehog? Is it a mole? No. It makes you think, like, ooh, is that some kind of subtle thing about uh, fighting Sonic the Hedgehog? Or, but then it's like, oh, that's stupid. Never mind. Nintendo probably couldn't be give a shit about Sega Genesis. They probably should have, as they were really doing well for a while in the late 80s, early 90s, but Nintendo's kind of always been in their own universe. Like, to this day, they don't give one iota of a shit about what PlayStation, what Sony, rather, or what Microsoft does. And it was the same way back in the day, too. They didn't, they didn't really react to Sega that much. Because, um, I mean, regardless if the... If the Genesis existed or not, they were still going to come out with a Super Nintendo, and it was still going to be $200. Now, whether or not, you know, 
as some games would have been made or some game, you know, who knows. Come on, you idiots, get over here. Ugh. I'm just talking out my ass. Oh, that's not a door, that's a pit. And this leads nowhere. Great. At least not yet. I think that leads somewhere eventually. I'm just talking up my ass. Um, but I do know for a fact, it, re, it, Super Nintendo would have existed, N64 would have existed. All that shit still would have happened if Sega Genesis existed or it didn't. I mean, I remember, I mean, you can see on YouTube now the... There we go, finally, level 20. You can see on YouTube now that some of the news reports that were being run back in the day um, about parents being pissed about their kids constantly playing video games, about the games costing too much, but that, you know, got to keep up with the Joneses and buy the same game, you know, buy all these video games and make sure your kid is entertained and keeps up with the neighbor kids. And, and Super Nintendo came out. I mean, Nintendo was pretty much printing money back in the late 80s and early 90s and all that. I mean, they, they could do whatever they wanted and parents would pay because their product was so fucking awesome. I mean, this was cutting edge, like the cutting edge of technology back then. All right, we need magic for our sprite friend here, for Clyde. Hey, Clyde. Clyde's asleep to my right right now. Being lazy. Eh, it's a good point. Let's see. So, you'd think it would be Air Blast that would do this. And you would be wrong. Kind of dumb. But it's actually Freeze that gets rid of this. But we leveled up to level 2, which is pretty cool. I was wrong. It's actually Earth Slide that gets rid of this. There we go. And that filled in that hole that we came across. The hole that I thought it was a door. Duh! Earth Slide fills the thing. And never mind. I'm an idiot. All right, where am I going? Since we were up, I, I think we came this from this way, didn't we? I don't think I want to go this way. Get over here! Oh my god! Big flaw in this game. People getting stuck. God damn it. No, well, it doesn't matter. All you gotta do is switch characters if one guy gets confused. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. So stay tuned for... It'll be the last Nest Drunk Let's Play. It'll be a different game. I hope to go at it from start to finish. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.